starting any exercise program, always get cleared by a primary care doctor. Hey there, Jed Coburn is here with The Exercise Physiology Show, where we talk about the physiology of the mind, the physiology of the body, and the physiology of the spirit. This is episode number 65, and who am I? I am a former fat kid, a former slightly overweight adult, and just an overall uh, person who cares about you. So, um, today's episode is brought to you by YGT Fitness, which you can find at jedcobernus.com and it will save you what all of us want more of is time it will save you time because i come to you all right today's episode is about belly fat and well just basically any kind of fat that we have on our body um and you know we got a question yesterday from esther and she had asked man i've been really working on strengthening my core but the fat won't go away from my belly right your belly fat won't go away okay so let's talk about that if you strengthen your core which is awesome that is what you need to be doing nice job keep it up um, you are strengthening the muscles okay you are taking the muscles within your core and you are making them bigger, making them stronger. Not like huge as in like, you know, Arnold huge, but just strong enough so you can <clears throat> operate correctly, so you can move correctly. Now what that means is the fat around it just doesn't disappear, right? <clears throat> the whole myth of turning fat into muscle is just that. It is a myth. You cannot gain fat and turn it into muscle, okay? You burn fat. Fat is energy. Fat is storable energy. If you have too much energy, which means you would eat too much, you would be eating more fat, more sugar, than what you would need. Your body stores it, okay? So, <clears throat> you don't turn that energy, that fat, into muscle. It doesn't work like that. You burn the fat, you use it as energy, and you strengthen your muscles to get stronger or bigger or whatever your desired outcome is. If you're doing core exercises, strengthening your core, you're doing just that. <clears throat> While at the same time, yes, you're burning calories, you're burning energy, you're burning fat, your body does not take it away from that area of which you're training at, right? Your body does not go, okay, you're working my core, you're working core today. I'm gonna take the body fat away from the core. It doesn't work like that. It takes, your body takes it away from where it wants to first, where every body, literally every body is different. That's why a lot of times when you see um, somebody who is overweight, obese, and they start losing weight, you start to see it in their face first, right? At least, that's probably the most common place. You see their face get kind of smaller. You don't see their, their six-pack abs because they're doing core exercises right away, right? No way. It'd be sweet if it worked like that. <clears throat> and really, when it comes down to it, don't you think that as a physiologist that I would recommend the exact moves, right? The exact exercises for you to burn that belly fat like that. If there were exact movements to do that, I would give them to you. I wouldn't hold that just for myself. It isn't just core exercises. It isn't just planks and crunches and sit-ups and twists and, you know, extensions and whatever. It isn't just that. It's way more than that. <clears throat> and to be discouraged, like a strong core is awesome. You need it for balance. You need it for movement. You need it for everyday life. You need it to protect your lower back. Because <clears throat> that's where it starts. Why do you think it's called a core? Everything starts 
at your core. If anything, that's where I would start. That's where I would recommend you start is strengthen your core if you're just starting an exercise program. But to say that, oh man, I've been working so hard on my core, how come this belly fat isn't going away? It doesn't work like that, it's not that simple. If it were, we would all have six pack abs without working very hard. <clears throat> to get the body fat, literally any kind of fat, not just belly fat, but any kind of fat, it takes a few things. It takes time, hell of a lot of effort, and consistency. Okay, so being consistent with your exercise, being patient with yourself, and understanding that this is not easy, but it's up to you for how long it's going to take to get there. So. <laughs> Halloween just was here. If you mount down on all of the Halloween candy, then you just put all of that, that energy, if you will. Energy, what is energy? <clears throat> energy is food, right? Energy is what you intake. Like broccoli is energy, but your body goes through that a heck of a lot quicker. Your body knows what to do with that really fast. Um, Snickers is energy, but it has a lot of sugar, and that sugar is just storable, right? So that just gets stored into your body. You don't use it up very fast, <clears throat> and then it just gets stored as body fat. So hopefully you see the correlation there. We have energy. We need energy. But it just depends how you use it. So saying that, oh, I've been working my underarms, how come my underarms still have a bunch of body fat on it? It doesn't work like that. You're strengthening the muscles, but you're not, the, the weight is not going to go away. Like the body fat, sorry, the body fat is not going to go away from that specific area. It's called spot training. You can spot train for strength, right? But you cannot spot train for fat burn not possible sorry to burst that bubble but that sucks right any good news on that the good news is is it will go away you will get lean it just is not as simple as you think and it just takes a little more time <clears throat> and I always say it my way is not the most sexiest way my way is not the sexiest way in the world right but I can guarantee you one thing it is the most permanent way. I can guarantee you that. If you make small changes, if you make one small change, where's that tagline from? Oh man. It's from the automatic body app. It's free, whatever. I'm not here to push that on anybody. I'm just saying, if you're making small changes, that will help. That will be permanent change. So there it is. Hopefully, you understand that. Hopefully you see that. Because that's what it takes. It took me quite a while to realize that. You can't spot train anything. You have to use your energy in the right way. You have to intake your energy in the right way. Not necessarily right, but in a way that you're actually gonna use it. So, as always, if you are willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. I do. I believe in you. Now it's your turn. Bye for now.